Hey, I'm Andrew Huang, and I'm here today at Native Instruments headquarters to show you the new A-Series line of keyboard controllers. I've been using the S-Series since they came out, but Native have done a lot to streamline all of those best features into this much more affordable new package. So let's see what they're all about. The A-Series keyboards are available in three sizes. So you've got the A25, there's the A61, and in front of me here we've got the A49, so you can find out which one works for your setup. All of these are bus powered, so you just connect to your computer with USB and you're good to go. They've got great semi-weighted key beds, solid pitch and mod wheels, and on the back there's a connector for a pedal, which could be expression, uh, sustain, half damper, and you can configure that in the software. So let's play. I've got the Complete Control plugin loaded in Ableton 10, and I can control a lot of that right from the keyboard. The keyboards all come with Complete Control. They work with lots of different hosts as well. So I'm gonna hit Browser and start looking for a sound. On the screen here, it shows you what you're looking at as you're browsing. You can see there are things that aren't native instruments showing up thanks to NKS. So uh, sure, let's go with Diva. Let's go for a bass sound, and I'm just clicking the encoder right with each selection that I'm making. And so when you get to the preset menu, you can scroll through them and hear previews as you go. And when you've found one that you want to use, just press the encoder in, and that will load it up. If you don't have an idea of what instrument you want to use, you can also just browse through the tag. So I'm going to select all products and just look for types. So let's see. How about drums? Granular drums. Yeah. With the plug-in button, you can go in and tweak sounds using the eight knobs, and these are touch sensitive. So touching one will show on the screen what parameter it's controlling as well as its current value. Uh, a lot of instruments also have multiple pages of parameters, so you can scroll through using these arrow keys, and then the knobs will control new parameters. So let's check out some different instruments and just tweak them as much as we can, see how far we can take the sounds. Oh, man. Form is wild. I feel like I'm uh, riding an alien motorcycle. <laughs> That's nice. And you can use the track button for controlling your host software, laying down your ideas. So I'm gonna start by loading a kit from Battery. Sounds good. Cool. Why don't we add a bass now? Let's add some vocal chops. Uh, I'm gonna use exhale. a lead line now. I'm gonna automate the filter cutoff of this lead and maybe also the dry wet of the reverb on it. In any supported host, it works the same as with the S series. You can record, playback, loop, uh, quantize, automate, and set mix levels and a lot more right from your keyboard. The keyboards all come with a huge amount of sounds with the complete control software, plus you get the Machine Essentials production software with them, so it's everything you need right out of the box to make lots of different kinds of music without having to get any other software. There are also a couple features called Smart Play, which are really great for people who maybe haven't learned a lot of music theory yet, but can also be useful if you are more experienced but just want a different way to come up with ideas. So there are over 100 preset scales that you can access with this scale button, and uh, they are mapped in really easy ways Ways. For instance, you could play them on just the white keys. 
That one's got a really cool flavor. Nice. Oh, this is interesting. There's also arpeggio and chord modes where you can just use one key at a time to play full chords and arpeggios. So just one key at a time here generating like this beautiful stuff without having to think about it at all. The A-Series keyboards are super affordable, really great MIDI controller for anyone who's looking for a hardware solution there, uh, especially good for beginners. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching and happy music making.